Hey, how you guys doing? It's your boy G Marcus with the TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely subscribe to this video. Back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing Queen Najee's album, Misunderstood. I listened to this album a couple of times over the weekend. Definitely love this album. I have a couple of joints on there that I'm really, really, really feeling. That was really, really great. It's like really hot album. So as I'm doing the review, I'll definitely be reading the lyrics at the same time. Just to let you guys know, know, I'm very picky. I can like a hook and not like verses in a song. I can like the verses and not the hook. I like the beat and just hate the whole entire thing that's spoken. The whole, all the lyrics in the song. That's just how I am. Listen to some of the songs, um, listen to it over again, listen to some of the songs, see if I get something new, get something brand new out of it. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely feeling the album work right here. This album work is really dope. And it's kind of like a little spicier side of Queen that we don't really get to see that often. But I'm really, really feeling that right there. I watch Queen and Clarence uh, all the time. Like, definitely big fans of them. I'm, I watch everything that they do. Queen Nice and she was picking up momentum and then she just fell off the face of the earth. They are trashing her in the intro. Trashing her. Damn. But I like how she started off though. It's just like, yeah, because a lot of people they, they said she fell off or that Clarence Trapper and all that. So yeah, I definitely had that a lot. But yeah, I'm so this is definitely a good way to start the album. She not that cute. She just yeah, they violated her. Yeah, they definitely violated her. But that was a good intro. Good shout out to Queen. That was, that was a good intro. Good way to put it together. So the second track on the album is Too Much To Say, so let's hear how this one goes. He says in this one she's really trying to make it like more life, more storytelling type of thing, so I like, I like this song so far. Like she's, it's more about the lyrics than the singing, so this one is good so far. Ah, this is the one where she talks about the situation with CJ. Like, basically, where the baby had to go back and forth from home to home. Yeah, that's definitely a sad situation. Well, she goes down, so it looks like she's getting deep into this one. I'm really feeling this one. You could hear the pain in her voice. I like this about the song. Like, I like songs where you could hear the emotions. It could be simple. It could be a simple song, and you could still hear the emotion. You could still catch a vibe from it, and it's simple as hell. So this one is just like the beat, you know, is a little dry. I'm not really feeling the beat that much, but the lyrics, I'm really feeling the lyrics. I'm really feeling this so far. Ah, you gotta fake a smile, turn on the camera, and gotta make this money now. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Definitely respect that line right there. Love that line. You gotta do what you gotta do. Definitely, definitely, definitely a dope song right here. I'm really feeling this one right here. I give this one a seven and a half, because this one... It's just like, the beat was a cool beat, it was a normal beat, you know, I thought it was going to be a little build up. It's a normal beat, but I give this one seven and a half to an eight. So this one is number three, this song right here is called I'm Her featuring Keanu Lee. Now I'm a big fan of Keanu Lee also, so I'm curious to hear this one. I don't think I heard this one already. No, you just can't leave me alone, double tapping my pictures. Now that one is messed up right there. Double tapping my pictures, you be thinking you low. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think we all had those moments, don't we, fellas? <laughs> okay, so the chorus, it was the chorus was cool, like, but the verse, the first verse, I really filmed it though. Really filmed that first verse. She did a good job on that first verse. So let's see what Keanu Lee got. This is verse two. Like Keanu Lee's part, she said, I might even let you hit late at night, but you gotta go till the morning. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you gotta keep going. You gotta give, you gotta be satisfied. You gotta satisfy till the morning. Okay, this was a good collaboration. I give this one seven and a half, eight. Like, I love the lyrics to it, so I definitely get this one seven and a half or eight. But, but this one was good. Definitely a good collaboration. I'm definitely feeling this collaboration right here. Good, good job on that one. The single that she put out is one of the first singles, um, Pack of Light. So this one, you know, you know, this one came before the album, so like this this song was dope. Yeah, this song was dope, like I really liked it a lot because it gave like an old school type of feel. Like I don't know, like it, it reminds me of somebody from the old school. I'm just not sure. I can't put my finger on it. But it's like nice soul, it's nice, it's nice, cool, it's like something you want to listen to on a Sunday morning, like a, on a Sunday, like it's very soulful, so 
I definitely give this one an eight. Like I give it a solid eight. This one was definitely a dope track and the video was good for it too. So I definitely give it that one. So this one was really good. So the next track I'm gonna play is Lie to Me featuring Lil Dirk. Now, the chorus, now that part right there, like the way she stretched out her voice like that, like I loved it. Like her vocals, on, her vocals was amazing on that one. Like that one right there, like I could just heard that part and just fell in love with the song. No, Dirk had a, he had a good part. I like Dirk's part. I'm feeling Dirk's part right here. Loki, I be texting her friends, but she, <laughs> she told me that she don't care. Like, <laughs> But I'm feeling Dirk's verse. Alright, so that song right there, I give it a 9. That song was a solid 9 right there. I, I love that song right there. That song was just great. Like, I heard it a couple times, like I said, but like I'm listening to it again. And it's like, yeah, I'm really feeling it. Like, this song, straight 9. The production was good. The video was good. The vocals was great. Everybody, everybody played their part. The production, everything. Everything was good. So this one right here, Dream by Lucky Day. So definitely did not hear this one, so let's see how this one is. Track number five, Dream of Lucky Day. Okay, so so far, so the chorus is good, the beat is real good. It's different. It's different from what I'm used to hearing from Queen. Maybe she made some of that before. I don't know, but I I didn't hear this. I, I, like it's different. Like I'm, I'm feeling it so far. Definitely feeling the production. Definitely feeling this one right here. This one, I give this one a solid eight. Definitely feeling this track right here. Definitely, you know, this is something like I can picture me listening to this. Like I don't know, like t like taking a flight somewhere. Like like this is like airplane music for me. Like. Like a, a lot of people can listen to this, but like what? But the vibe is giving me is airplane music. Like I'm in, I'm in the airplane and I'm chilling, I'm vibing. I'm just I don't know. It, it, it puts me in the mood. It get that's when it puts me. In. I know it's weird. It sounds weird, airplane. But I like it. I like the song a lot. This song, this is track number seven. This one also has a video. This one is called the love language. What well, love language? So it's track number seven. So let's see what Queen got for us. I got a little attitude right now. Uh, how many of them have them? The little attitude right now. It happens from time to time. Okay, good way to start it off. <laughs> I feel like she's hard like my like my like my girlfriend. I need you to put your fucking phone right now. <laughs> put the phone down. Yeah, like that one is like right. Now tell me that you miss it before I go missing? Damn! Like, like, like this one, this was good writing right here. I like the writing for this one. This one's really good right here. Like, I feel like most females do that. Tell me that you miss it before I go missing. Well, this song, so like, so the verse was really good. So I like the chorus because if you, if you read the book, if you read the book, The Five Love Languages, like that one, like that's like, you know, it was definitely a good book. So if you read this book, you can definitely read to the song. You know, it talks about the five languages of love, touch, feel, gifts. It talks, it talks about a lot of stuff in that book. And so this one, this song definitely goes with it. So, all right, I'm really, I'm feeling this one right here. Comment below if you read that book. Comment below and tell me what you think about that book. I might do a review on that one too. She just need a little reinsurance, you know. Hey, you know, can't be mad at that. You know, everybody needs that little sign to talk. Treat me good, I treat you better. Give me treat me good, I treat you better. It's just like that's something I learned a long time ago. It's just like the happy girl is a nasty girl. So yeah, nasty in a good way. But yeah, but I'm feeling this song right here. I'm definitely feeling the lyrics. I'm definitely feeling the vibe. Definitely feeling the production. So this one, I give this one a seven and a half. Definitely listen to it again. Like I'll give it a seven and a half. It's definitely not a skippable song. 
So this song right here is track number eight. This one is called Without You featuring Russ. So let's see what this song is about right here. What would I do without you? Now, the beat and the chorus, like the vocals and everything, it goes great so far. So I'm really feeling this track. Definitely feeling that chorus. This chorus I'm feeling a lot. So far, and this is based on just the chorus and the beginning. So far, this is definitely my top five right here. All right. All right. I'm feeling this one. This song's about to end, but you know, <laughs> it's a short song, but I really like this song a lot. This is definitely... Uh, I don't know. I'm feeling this like that. This one right here, I give this one... This one I give an 8. I give it a 9. This one I'm gonna give a 9. This one was great. Like, I love the production, love the verses, loved everything about it. Love the chorus, definitely. It gives me like a Lauryn Hill type of vibe. I don't know if you guys felt that. Comment below if you felt it or did not feel it. But it's giving me a Lauryn Hill's like first album type of vibe. This song right here. I don't know what about it. Definitely top five favorite tracks so far. The next track is number nine. It is Say What To Mean. So let's see what about this. What, what's, what's good with this? Two weeks ago said you wanted to be. Okay, well, this song right here, I would say, you know, it was cool. Like, I'll give it, like, it was cool type of rating. So, I'd give it probably five and a half, six. I had to listen to it again a couple times. But Bitter and Feature and Mulatto. This one comes with a skit. So, it's this one with a skit, and it comes with a song. So, let's see what this one is about. Gonna get twisted with my friends. Nigga, fuck you and a bitch. Alright, this song, alright, now in the beginning, this sounds like a revenge type of song. I don't know. But I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it right here. This is kind of aggressive. This one is hard. Alright. Nah, the production, the beat, the rage, like you feel it, you feel it. This one's all you feeling it. I'm feeling this one right here. Oh, Mulatto said I got that good wop. I hope you're a good swimmer. I'm feeling that line right there. All right, really, Mulatto. Okay. This song right here, I was feeling this one. This one get an eight and a half. This one right here was really good because I felt every emotion that they was trying to do. Like, I was feeling it. This was like the revenge song to me. This is like the revenge song when you pissed off. Like, when ladies, they pissed off with their man or whatever. It's like, yeah. Oh, like, I, I like it. I like it. Production was good. The lyrics was good. The chorus was good. I'm feeling this one a lot. One time featuring Tootsie. I hope I'm saying it right. Tootsie. And right, this is track number 12. So, let's see what they got for us. One time for the girls who want you back. One time for the girls who can't understand. Best reasons I came in the drafted on you was from the streets, but I came in and drafted on you. Okay, so you took the homie from the streets? All right. Okay, it's a little simple. Simple beat, simple lyrics so far. I like the little verse. I like the little line that she had earlier, but okay. Okay, the chorus is very simple. Not really feeling that chorus too much, but okay. I see where she was going with it, but it's not really connected with me. Okay, Tootsie, he got a, he had a nice verse. I like Tootsie's verse. So this song didn't really connect with me. Like, I wasn't really feeling this song too much. I like Tootsie's verse, and I like the direction she was going with it, but I don't know, this one didn't really connect with me. So this one, I would have to put this as a six, five and a half, six. Like, this one, I would have skipped it. Like, honestly, like, I'll skip it. Number 13 is called Pressure, so it's her by herself. Let's see what she got. Same place, I still feel so alone. Even when we're in the same place, I feel so alone. Who can relate to that? That's crazy right there. I don't think I've ever really felt that in a relationship. Like, have you guys felt that in a relationship? That's actually interesting. Damn. It's like, 
and we in the same place and I still feel alone, damn. We get so busy but no time for each other, no disconnected. We get so busy but no time for each other. Definitely a struggle. It can be a struggle sometimes. You gotta make those times. You gotta make that times, ladies and fellas. Like, you gotta make the time. My heart is so much pressure in the air. So can we get away? So Ooh, that chorus is powerful. It reminds me of Franklin, Beverly, and Maze. You feelings everywhere. You know, so I guess they got that. Like, they kind of twisted it around or whatever. But it's cool. But I like the chorus, though. It, it puts me in that mood or whatever. This is something I listen to on a Sunday. This is something I want to vibe out. Like, I would vibe out to the song. I definitely like this one, right? Yeah, this one was good. This one, this track was fire. Like, when I first heard it, I heard it over the weekend. When I first heard it, I didn't think much of it. But in hearing it again, you know, of course, loud. It's just like, yeah, I'm feeling this one right here. This one, I'll definitely put that. I'll definitely give that an eight. That one was a solid eight. I'm really feeling that right there. Like that one definitely did it for me. So that might be in the top five. That definitely, it might be in my top five for the best songs on the album. So this one is five seconds featuring John Queese. This one, all right. So this one looks interesting. The King of R&B is on this song. We got the Jackies, the Jackies feature. If you watch this, if you watch Queen Vlogs, you see that they was in the studio together. So Got no problem giving the cold shoulder? Damn, you cold. Woo! That chorus right there was hard. The whole song, like, so far has been hard. I didn't even get to the King of R&B yet. That's, like, fire. Like, simple, like I said at the beginning. I like simple stuff. I like all types of music, but... It's simple, but you feel it. Like, her vocals was crazy. Like, her vocals is everything on this song. Like, wow. Like, this might be my favorite song on the album. I think this is my favorite song. I think this is it. This one, so far, needs a video. She needs a video for this one. Like, this song right here is hard. The production, the vocals, the lyrics. Love it so far. Let's see what the King of R&B got to say. Yeah, what's with this next to me for you feeling lonely stuff? It's like, I, I I never had that in my relationships. Like, please comment. Like, I can't relate to, like, she said that early in the other song. But to be with the person and you still feel lonely? I never had that feeling before. Damn. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now this song right there, I give it a solid. And this is very rare. This is rare for me. This is a solid 10. There's nothing wrong with this song right here. Like, this song is the best song in the album. I mean, you gotta hear the rest of the album. This song is the best song. I'm still see what's going on. I'm still go through it. But this right here needs a video. Everything is perfect about it. Nothing's wrong with this song. Anybody did a good job. For this song right here, Jacquees, I did y'all thing. Act number 15, uh, pre 10. So let's see what Queen got for us. Heart has a funny way of letting people in, don't we all? Don't we all struggle with that? Especially funny, weird ass people. <laughs> Alright, the chorus, simple, cool, liked it, felt the pain, felt everything. So, definitely like the chorus. The song is great so far. I like it. Love just keep on bleeding, I know that God still got me. Love just keeps on bleeding, I don't know. I know that God still got me. Yep, God still got us. Yeah, God is good. Yo, she is really saying facts in this song. <laughs> the reality hits, I learned not to expect people to give what I give. Yep, she is really like facts. Like, I know a lot of people can relate to this one. This one is definitely going to, this one is going to blow. This is, this song is very relatable right here. That? Yeah, Queen? This was good. It could have been a little bit more like, you know, she could have put more into it as far as energy. I feel like, you know, I feel like she could have put more emotion into it. The beat could have been a little more harder. But it was definitely a good song. It was definitely good though. I'm really feeling it though. Like I'll definitely this song right here, it gets I give it I give it a seven. I give this a seven just because it had so much more potential. 
So this one is track number 16. This one is trial and error. So let's see what she got for us. Be aware of your weaknesses. Always know yourself. That's a good one right there. Okay, this one right here didn't connect with me. Wasn't really feeling it. I seen where she was going with it, but it just did not connect with me. Did not hit me. Like I felt like it was, it was kind of dry. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like the song was kind of dry or whatever. Like, it was just like, okay, whatever song. I could skip this song. But yeah, the song didn't really catch me. So I give this song a five. Number 17, Butterflies Part 2. This song was hard though. I mean, when I heard that, it's like it's definitely a song that can make you cry. Depend depending on the type of person you are, you could definitely cry over this song. Like, cause you felt the you felt it. You felt all the emotions that she was trying to give. Like, I don't know. I like I definitely loved it. Especially, I think I felt like it was a dope idea to make a part two because it shows that yeah, it's years later and still I'm I'm still feeling you. I'm still I still love you or whatever. I still feel the same butterflies. So that's good because you know butterflies go away. You know. It goes away eventually. It goes away. Some people it doesn't, but for most people, the but everything out on this one. This one, this was a dope song. Like this one, get a solid nine. Like I like I love this song right here. Like I've heard this song for the ending. This is like my favorite part. Like remember I told you I like the simple stuff. Like I liked her vocals at the ending, and she's just humming out. Humming the song out as it's fading away. Listen to it. Woo, that's my favorite part of the song right there. Like that song, that the way she just ended it off, she could just left it like just solid, just let the beat play, but nah, she just kept it going with the with her vocals, with the with the humming. Like, hey. We had the last song. This one is called Beautiful. So this one is track number 18. So, let's see how she's going to take us home. Okay, so this one right here, this one sounded like a definitely like a send home type of song. It sounded like an outro type of song. So, I, I felt that like it, it, it was cool. Like the way to end off the album, it was good. It was like a little ending. Like, it, I give that one a six and a half. Like, I see where she was going with it. Like guys we're at the end of the album so this album i definitely enjoyed this album this album was definitely definitely a great album i don't know how long it took for her to make the album but yeah it was worth the wait like it was definitely worth it uh my top five favorite songs on this album and in no order well my top five favorite songs on this album number one is definitely five seconds but jo featuring john Queese. the second song is track number eight called Without You featuring Russ. That one was another great song. Number three, I would definitely say Bitter featuring Mulatto. Like, I would definitely say number 13, which was Pressure. Pressure was really, really, really good. I was really feeling pressure. Old school type of vibes, smooth type of music. The fifth song, definitely Line of Me featuring Lil Dirk Nine. That was really, really, really good. So all together, I would give this album an eight and a half. Eight and a half, like depending on the day I'm listening to it, it could, de it could definitely slide to a nine. So guys, we're at the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for making it this far. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, I'll be back with a brand new video every Sunday. Um, you guys have a great one. Uh, thank you for watching me, and I'll be coming with brand new material every single week. You